So welcome everybody to this latest video on 162 Matter and in this video we'll be going over some past exam GCSE questions relating to combinations or a product rule for counting. As always there'll be a copy of the questions that we go through in this video in the link in the description for you to download and have an attempt at before watching this video so you can test your prior knowledge. Now before we get started working through some past exam questions, let's just have a quick overview over what it is we need to know now. Obviously looking through combinations, this is going to be heavily linked with product rule for counting. You also may get some questions related to fractions and percentages of amounts and also ratios is quite becoming more popular being linked with these questions. In terms of writing your answers, they may be connected to writing them as fractions, decimals or percentages in terms of proportion and also there may be some strong links with probability as well. So without further ado, let's get started on some exam questions. Now, a little reminder, if you want an access to these questions, all you need to do is just simply click on the link in the description. So looking at question one, it says the restaurant has a deal on some dishes where you can order a three course meal. The deal includes eight starters, five mains and four desserts. A three course meal includes one starter, one main and one dessert. How many different three course meals deal combinations are there? So for this, all we need to do is basically just multiply each of the number of options available in each of the genres. So this is going to be 8 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 and that's going to give me an answer of 160. So then moving on to question 1b, it says three of the starters have fish in them, two of the mains are pasta dishes. Steve picks a three course meal combination at random, work out the probability that the starter has fish in it and the main is a pasta dish. Give your answer as a fraction. So if we go back to the original list, then what we know is that from the starters we've already got three which have got fish. We've got two of the mains that are pasta. I can't spell correctly and we've got the f any four desserts so in terms of picking out our first value well that's going to be three times two times four which gives me an answer of 24 now out of the total possible possible combinations that's going to be eight times five times four which is 160 so then simplifying this 24 over 160 as a fraction, we get an answer of 3 over 20. Then moving on to question 2, it says the pet shop has 6 rabbits, 8 hamsters, 5 lizards and 3 parrots. The store wants to pick up one of each type of animal to be on a new poster. In how many different ways can the pet shop pick the 4 animals? So again, going for the 4 number of quant the quantity we've got of each particular category we've got six times eight times five times three and we get an answer for that of 720 so loads of options for that pet stop shop it then says the pet shop sells two hamsters and a lizard before picking the animals how many many ways can the pet shop now choose the four animals so if we go back they've sold two hamsters so if we take away two that leaves us with six and we take away one lizard that leaves us with four but we've still got the six rabbits and we've still got the three parrots so then multiplying six times six times four times three i get an answer of 432. moving on to question three it says jill and michael each pick three single digit numbers from one to nine jill only uses prime numbers michael only uses multiples of three Jill can make X more combinations than Michael. Assume that the digits can be repeated. Work out the value of X. So the key bit in this particular question is this bit here, which is hence why it's been written in bold. So numbers can be repeated. Now in terms of Jill's options, if I just write Jill, now Jill's only picking prime numbers. So that's going to be 2, 3, 5 and 7. So there's four possible numbers she can choose from. Whereas with Michael, he's only picking multiples of three so that's three six and nine so there's three options so for jill that's going to be four times four times four and for michael that's going to be three times three times three now four cubed is 64 three cubed is 27 so if i take away those two numbers i get an answer of 37. It then says, in fact, the digits can't be repeated. What does this tell you about the actual value of X? So if I go back to Jill, now Jill had four possible numbers she could choose from. So that's going to be picking a three-digit number of four, 
times 3 times 2, which is 24. Michael had three numbers, so that's going to be 3 times 2 times 1, and that's going to give me 6. So the difference is therefore going to be 18, and that's less, so the answer then will be smaller. Moving on to question four, it says Jordan owns 14 movies of which two sevenths are science fiction, five TV box sets, none of which are science fiction, and eight console games of which 75% are science fiction. Jordan picks one movie, one TV box set, and one console game. How many of the possible combinations have no science fiction in them? So looking at the movies, so what I want to work out is two sevenths of 14. Now two... Uh, 14 divided by 7 is 2, times 2 is 4. So 4 a sci-fi, meaning that 10 are non-sci-fi. Then moving on to the TV box sets. Well, none of them are science fiction, so it's going to be 0 sci-fi against 5 non-sci-fi. Then for the games, we've got 75% of 8, which is 6. So 6 are sci-fi, and that means that 2 are non-sci-fi. Now the question is asking how many combinations are not sci-fi. So then I'm going to be using these numbers here. So it's going to be 10 times 5 times 2 which gives me an answer of 100 non-sci-fi combos. And so all that's left for me to do is just write 100. Moving on to question five, it says Flynn has a toy where you can pick a face, a body and a pair of legs. It comes with eight faces, six bodies and five pairs of legs. How many different combinations does the toy have? So this is going to be multiplying the number of quantity of each genre it's going to be 8 times 6 times 5 which gives me an answer of 240 then for 5b it then says Piper has the same toy with the same faces same body and same pair of legs they both customize their toys at random what is the probability that both Flynn and Piper customizes their toy in exactly the same way well for this if you imagine that if you pick one of those two people so let's just go for Flynn he's made a choice now the probability that Piper picks this exact same combination, well, she's got a potential of 240 choices and the right one was only one combination. So therefore the answer is going to be one over 240. It's not a case of the question is not asking what probability of both of them having the same. It's a case of what's probability of one person picking the same as another. So the first person already picked theirs. So you don't need to multiply 1 over 240 by another 1 over 244. It's more of a case of what's probability of one person having the same as another. Moving on to question 6. It says that a shop sells 8 types of butter of which 3 are dairy free. 12, of the, uh, 12 types of cheese in which 2 are dairy free. A new share can only eat dairy free products. What percentage of butter and cheese combinations can a new share buy from the shop? So for this what we're looking at is in terms of Anusha's choices. Well, that's going to be three times two, which is six. Then, in terms of the total combos, well, that's going to be eight times twelve, which is uh, eight times twelve, which is ninety-six. So then, writing that as a fraction or as a percentage as the question says. So if I then multiply 9 over 96, multiply it by 100, that basically simplifies to give me 1 over 16 times 100, and that's going to equal 6.25%. I don't know why I put two dots there, so let's just edit that. There we go. Moving on to question seven, it says, Dowdy uh, makes a six digit number using all of these cards. How many different numbers greater than 700,000 can they make? So for this, well, in order for it to be greater than 700,000, it either needs to start with an eight or starts with 
a nine. Now, if it starts with an eight, there's only one possible number that that can be, so that's one. Then the next number, there are five numbers to choose from. In the third number, there are four numbers to choose from. Then there's three, then there's two, and then there's one. And if I word that out, I get an answer of 120. Then for starting with a nine, there's only one number to choose from. Then there's five numbers for the second one, four numbers for the third one, three numbers for the fourth, two numbers to choose from for the, sec uh, the fifth one, and one number for the last one. And that again gives me 120. So all I then need to do is just simply add those two numbers up. So I get 120 plus 120, which is 240. Then moving on to our last question, it says that Craig has a briefcase with a three digit number lock on it. They want the first digit to be an odd number, the last digit to be less than six. How many possible combinations are there for Craig to choose from? Well, in terms of the first digit, well, it has to be an odd number. So the odd numbers are going to be one, three, four, five, seven, and nine. So there's five numbers to choose from. The second digit, not really bothered about whatever that is. So there are 10 possible numbers, again, going from zero to nine. Then for the third digit, well, this has to be a number that's less than six. So it's going to be zero, one, two, three, four, and five. So there are six numbers to choose from there. So then if I then multiply those three numbers together, so I've got five times 10 times six, it gives me a final answer of 300. And there is my final answer.